y'all, John, he looked in our freezer and he saw these pork spare ribs, so he requested that for supper tonight. And y'all know I aim to please him, so that's what we're going to cook. And I wanted to show y'all how I love to do this. Um, I kind of came up with this. I don't have a smoker, but I love the flavor of smoked ribs. So um, I do this. It's a little makeshift way, but you can actually do it indoors because it's still really cold here in Louisiana. Um, so that's what I thought I'd share with y'all in case y'all want to do this. I get these spare ribs. These are pork spare ribs, and I get them. They come in a two-pack. It's got two slabs for just under $20 at Sam's Club. Yes, I do. And no, I don't make any money from Sam's Club, but I just want to tell y'all that. Y'all see I'm just drying him off real good. I, I washed him just with some water to wash off any anything on the outside, and I'm patting him dry real good because I want all my, my rub to stick on there. Okay, y'all. There we go. Let me wash my hands and I'll be right with y'all shortly. All right, guys. Um, we're going to make us a rub for him. Yes, we are. Got me a little bowl. And I'm going to start with just a couple of teaspoons of salt, making sure everybody can see what I'm doing. <laughs> everybody. So I'm just going to put a couple of teaspoons of salt. About like that. And then I've got some onion powder. No salt, just onion powder. I'm going to put me a tablespoon of that. I don't normally measure this stuff, okay? But I want to kind of give y'all a, a little bit of a recipe. So I measure. And I've got some granulated garlic or garlic powder. A lot of times I have no salt in it, just the garlic. I'm going to put some of that. I'll put about a tablespoon of that. Come on out of there, boy. There you go. And y'all know I'm going to put smoked paprika, right? I know. Oh, this is starting to go up my nose. Always makes me want to sneeze. Let's go and put a tablespoon of smoked paprika. Let me take that little lid off. We'll be here all day, won't we? Yeah. I know it. I know it. Yeah, I love this because it gives you the flavor of smoked, and we're actually going to smoke them too, yeah, but we can actually do it inside. Isn't that fantastic? Y'all know I like some fresh ground pepper in there. Lots and lots and lots of that, and then pork loves brown sugar. Just a little bit of it, okay? So let's put about a tablespoon of some brown sugar in there too, just like that. Okay, guys, I'm just going to get in here with my fingers. Y'all know I just washed my hands. Y'all heard me. You heard me, didn't you? Ooh, I can smell this. It smells so good. Yes, it does. Something I would love to go on and put on here, too. Besides the smoke paprika, let me grab some smoke, liquid smoke out of the cabinet, guys. This is hickory liquid smoke. Y'all see how it's just watery liquid smoke. I love this stuff. Put it in my barbecue sauce. I'm going to put about a tablespoon in here too. We'll have a sort of a wet rub, won't we? Okay, guys. Sorry about that little bitty um, blip right there. But you, that camera started flashing maximum recording time. So I had to shut it down and do some cleaning up. I got to do a lot of editing of my videos. I gotta get busy this weekend, don't I? Alright guys, I mix this up and the only thing to do now is get your hands in there. Get your clean hands in there on your on your ribs. And I'm gonna rub this in, pat it in, rub it in, and let this marinate for a while. I'll slide these back in the refrigerator. I'll cover them. You can let this sit on there all day, all night if you wanted to. Mine be on there just for maybe a couple of hours or so. Or an hour, but that's fine. And I'm going to put it on both sides. Yes, I am. And then I'm going to um, get cleaned up again. And I'm going to get on here and show y'all what I come up with just to do some smoking inside this house on this cold day. Yeah. Mmm, this already smells terrific. 
this rub. Yes, it does. Hi, guys. I'll be back. Hey y'all. Okay, I got everything out for us. We've got our ribs back here marinating. I've had them in the refrigerator for a few hours. Um, so I pulled them out for us to get this going. Um, this is what I use. First of all, you're going to need one of these disposable chafing dishes. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. And you're going to need a lid to go on it too because we're going to Seal it up tightly so we can let this smoke in here. Y'all see, y'all see where I'm going now, don't you? Um, one thing I've got is these that I order from. Let me tell y'all where these come from. And I also on YouTube, I'll put it in the description box where I order these from. It is called CameronProducts.com. Cameron is C-A-M-E-R-O-N-S. Camerons, and it's smoker wood chips. And they're really small. These are oak, and I'm going to use these oaks. If you don't have any of these, buy you some of the smallest little wood chips you can find at the grocery store or Walmart. You see these? These are almost like a, almost like a dust. Y'all see that? I love it. And I'm going to sprinkle some oak in here. Oak's a beautiful wood to smoke with, isn't it? Yes, it is. Let me not spill those. Can you imagine the mess? And these are hickory, and I hardly have any left because I always choose those. So I'm going to do hickory as well. Hickory chips down in there. Y'all see it's just, I like how small these are ground because they smoke really quickly. And then um, they lay really well in the bottom of this pan. This is alder tree. Those are good. Those would be good. I've never used any of those. Let's put some in there. And I also have um, cherry. I have cherry wood chips. I like. I don't, I don't guess it hurts to sprinkle a few in there. I mostly, normally I just do hickory. <laughs> but I'm showing y'all what all I have. And how much I sprinkle in here, I just cover the bottom. So, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe one or two cups let's see here guys yeah i'm gonna say about two cups and you may not even need that many okay but i like to do that i like to have them spread all about plenty 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 of smoking yes i do get them all spread out where pretty like i had them there we are and like i say if you can't get these get what's at the grocery store just get the smallest little pieces you can find um and I made these foil rings, tin foil rings or aluminum foil rings, because I like to put them down in here to um, give me some height on, the reason why I stopped is this camera over here just flashed again real funny, kind of scared me, but I see it's still recording. I get scary, you do all this and then you're, you don't have the video, it's just, it's, it's sad. But anyway, you see these two foil rings I made out of aluminum foil. I did that, and that raises um, my tray above these um, wood chips so it won't get on my meat, okay, on our spare ribs. And these things, I know y'all, lots of us have all sorts of little racks in our um, kitchens. Um, this one came in a pan, and the pan finally gave way on me, so I kept him in his handy. And um, this one I have, he comes out of this big thing I bought that I um, cook bacon in the oven in. So, uh, I could say you can use anything. This one came out of another little casserole dish that it's no longer with me. It cracked, but I kept it because all of those things are handy. So just do what you can. I've got two of these little racks, and I'm going to place them like that in there. Can y'all see? I'm kind of placing them on top of one another like that. Just so I'll have all my cook, all my ribs, all on top there. And see, they're sitting on top of my foil ring. So now my wood chips are two and a half inches down in there. So they won't be getting on to our spare ribs, right? Yeah. So y'all get where I was going with that. Okay. I've got our ribs. Take my plastic wrap off. That's all I did to put them in the refrigerator. 
and they are cold right now. I should have gotten them out a little while and let them come to room temp, but that's okay. And just get them on there real nicely like that. Let me be, I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to wash my hands real quick. Wash my hands real quick. And I love this little recipe because seriously, it looks like you went and bought, store bought some smoked ribs. And you see what we've done so far. We're standing in our kitchen in the warmth, right? Okay, we're going to take our lid now and really get it on there good because it, a lot of times I'll do this outside, y'all, on your um, outside burners. You know, we have an outdoor kitchen that John and I have made through the years, and um, it's got a pro propane bottles out there, and I've got a couple of burners out there, and I'll do it on that. And if a little bit of the smoke leaks out of here while it's cooking, I don't care. Um, because I'm outside, but indoors, you know, I don't want that going on in here in my kitchen. So I really try to cover this up. And honestly, if it goes to smoking too much, I'll cover it with foil as well and really tuck it down in there so it won't. And also, if you've got it on your burners back here, and I'm going to turn on a couple of burners. If you've got it on your burners and it does go to smoking a little bit, you can always turn on your vena hood and it'll just suck that little smoke out of there as long as it's just a little bit of smoking, okay? And so I'm going to get my burners going. Um, my burners are kind of on low, not like low, low, but like a medium low, just enough to get those wood chips heated and smoking really well. And I'm going to put these back here. Just like that. Y'all see how easy this is so far? I know we're smoking meat, right? But um, I'm going to put those back there. And I might... Let me see. I'm going to turn them up just a little bit. Maybe um, that's the oven preheating. I've got the oven preheating to 275, okay? Kind of a low and slow temp. And I'm going to let these go on here for about 30 minutes because that's our smoke point, okay? That's when that smoke's rolling in there and just pushing it back into those spare ribs. And what I will do here in a few minutes, I'll crack a piece of this like this and be careful because it's gonna be hot and I'll see if it is smoking. If it's smoking, then I'll leave it at that, the burners at that temp. And if it's not smoking, then I might crank them up just a little bit. So you have to kind of play with that a little bit. Um, outside, I'll crank them on up and that smoke's just rolling out of that lid. So, uh, But I'll come back on here in a few minutes. And like I say, if it goes to rolling out too much, I'm going to take some heavy duty aluminum foil and I'm really going to wrap it around it so it won't do that inside. And I'll turn on my um, vena hood, guys. But um, don't you know how good this is about to smell up in here? I know it. But don't let your house get smoky, like I say. Oh my goodness, I already see smoking, guys. Yes, I do. I want to show that to y'all. Let me slide y'all both forward here. Everybody. Goodness, y'all wouldn't believe all the cords and stuff. That seems easy, but it's not. It's not, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see it over here. A little bit starting to smoke. Can y'all see that? Let me do y'all one at a time. Already smoking. I hope you can see that. I hear them sizzling anyway. Like I say, I hope you can see that a little bit smoking out of there. And because it is going to be leaking a little bit. Right over here, it's going to be leaking a little bit. I, I hear them already getting cranked up, so I'm turning it down some, but I'm also going to turn on my vena hood, okay, guys? And this is going to go 30 minutes, and then I'll get back with y'all. Hey, guys. It has been one hour. I took these out, turned our oven on broil, okay? Like I say, at this point, it's what you like. Let's see what we got here. Goodness gracious, this is hot. Here we go. Ooh, look at that already. 
Looks good. Yes, it does. Okay. Yes, it does. This barbecue sauce I've been heating up for us. We gotta make more, y'all. This is it. See it. I'm gonna start painting it on here. And I'm gonna put this in my oven on broil. Y'all, I will cheat a little bit and just kind of pour it and then paint it. Pour and paint. Okay, guys. I'm going to stick this on broil. I'm going to let it toast to how John and I like it. And then I'm going to flip it over and paint the other side. And then I will be back. This went, I'm going to say about five minutes on broil. You see how nice he looks? All right, now I'm going to try to flip this with y'all. <laughs> it's kind of scary, but you got to be fast. Just like that. Okay. And we did it, didn't we? Yeah. Like I say, if you don't like them to have a little bite on them, then you can cook yours uncovered on 275 for about 30 more minutes. But John and I... We like to be able to kind of bite them off the bone. We don't like them falling off the bone. I hope I can explain that to y'all correctly. I really, really, really do. Okay, guys. This side, back in there on broil. Y'all see I poured some of that hot barbecue sauce on there. And I'll be back. This is our second time on roll for just a few minutes. Like I say, it's totally up to you what you want to do. Totally up to you. Now I'm going to, where is my flippers? Here they are. Here they is. I'll flip it back over. See if I might pull them out of here and put on this cutting board for us. Oh yeah. Don't those look beautiful? Beautiful. Okay, guys, five minutes. It needs to rest about five minutes. Okay, guys, John's going to bless our meal. Yeah, Father, I just ask you, please bless this meal. Just be with us, Lord. Just leave God direct us, Lord. Please just be with the people in our prayers. Be with our nation. We love you so much, and thank you so much for the day. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> okay, guys, can y'all see our ribs? I hope y'all can. Let me get y'all down here. I'm going to show y'all what we're going to be doing. Let me get y'all down here. They've been resting for five minutes. So they are ready, huh? Yes, they are. Just like that. There we go. Okay, y'all. Y'all see what we made tonight? We've got... Y'all see that smokiness on the outside? Do y'all see that? Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. Okay, guys. All right, baby. Get your plate right here if you'll hold it up for everybody. It's going to be John's plate, y'all. There we go. Okay. And I know you want lots and lots and lots of them, don't you, darling? From both ends. From both ends, I know. Both ends, yeah. I'm going to show y'all some from each end. Y'all see him? Mm -hmm. Doesn't he look good? He's great. You want some from the other end too, that's okay, right. darling? There that's, we go. That's you say when? Is that good? That's gonna be me there, darling. <laughs> okay, guys. See y'all later.